Hello, my name is Fraser Brown. We run a small company in the Highlands, an engineering company, where one of the things we do is recondition all coaxials. We do caravan axles where we re-rubber them, give them back a new life, and we also do a lot of motorhome axles from the early ones with the square torsion bars up to maybe year 2000. Laterally, they have fitted round torsion bars. We are probably the only people in Europe who can supply them off the shelf. Alco take about six weeks to supply one, so we have an advantage there. So these are the torsion bars. They're color coded, as you can see, left and right. Um, they come in sets. There are three on each side, so this is a full set. You can buy one, which is a good get you home remedy if you're stuck in Spain with the back of your your motorhome down a bit. You can stick one in; it'll get you home. Ideally, you should fit three or even six, because if one has broken, the other two are probably not far behind it. So a good idea is probably just to fit either three or six. The set when we sell them, the they come with new screws, washers, etc. These are the seals we use. The Alco supply a lip seal. We believe these are probably better. Uh, they're a soft neoprene and we make them up ourselves. Once the, um, once the neoprene seal is fitted, once the assembly is done, we wrap this around the joint, the open joint, pull it tight and use a spot of super glue to, uh, to protect it. So that stops the weather getting into the seal and then into the bushes. So that's quite a good thing. We also supply bushes, which uh, we machine, we buy them in and we machine them. We machine a groove in here so that the grease goes in through the hole then wraps right round and then squeezes out and lubricates the whole surface area within the bush. Alco, which um, Alco actually put a grease nipple in between the two bushes. So the bushes are probably about there inside the axle tube and they put one grease nipple in the middle and of course the axle is never properly lubricated all its life. I would also like to, like to show you my remote greasing system. Um, lots of people don't grease their uh, axle very much if at all and um, part of that reason I suppose is it means crawling underneath with a grease gun. We've made a system here where you can open a cupboard on the side of the vehicle and uh, grease it remotely so it can be done with your good clothes on five minutes before you go off on holiday if you like. So first of all this is the panel which we set in a cupboard on the side of the uh, vehicle. That's piped, these pipes come with it so the tubing goes from the back down to the axle this is, these are the fittings for going into the axle, which uh, carry the, 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 the pipe, so the pipe goes in there. And this is a drilling jig, so when you go to drill all these holes in the back of your cabinet, we use this drilling jig first. So we'll show you later how this all fits and how it works. Um, the only tools you need are a drill, a 6.5 millimeter drill bit, a 19 millimeter hole saw, and a handful of cable ties and that's then the job done.